So today for me, whoop, today for me is a sick day and the kids are kind of having a sick day too. They're still sick. They're not really quite better yet. But we've decided that we're gonna have a gingerbread house making day. And today for me is a handsome day. Be careful. Lots of people message me and say how cute you are all the time. Really? They do. <laughs> They're like, and Brian is so cute. He's so funny. He I, makes I, me laugh. I have to say too, even though the kids are all sick and all the kids have been sick for days, mm -hmm. I think it's because they've been sick for days, they're getting really stir crazy. It's true. And they need something fun to do. So something this is else gonna be really good for them. TV. This is gonna be fun. Right. The smolder. Actually, no. okay, how did he smolder? That's not the smolder. <laughs> you do the smolder, I'll examine your face and then I'll do it. Mmm, oh, that one reminds me of me. <laughs> I make this look good. Yours just looks like... Becca! <laughs> Which is pretty good, it's a smolder. I love that one. <laughs> you can't take yourself seriously. Yeah. That's funny. All right, let's make some gingerbread houses. Hey, we can also we can also get some of and our candy and decorate with here's them too. Some, uh, here's the instructions. Corbin, do you think that you can read the instructions and figure out figure it all out on your own? No, I don't want to. <laughs> he wants me to do the hard work. Yo. Michael's doing a better job of just breaking them apart than I did with the knife. <laughs> I don't know which pieces go to which house, so I'm, I just kind of took them apart. This is this. You can look at it from uh -huh. that picture. Yeah, that's like a little mini house, huh? Yeah, they're all. This is like a kit of a whole bunch of little mini gingerbread houses put together. Cute. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pieces of the yeah, gingerbread cool. together. Uh, where we want them, and then we're going to use the icing to make them stick together, and then we decorate on top of this. It's pretty simple. We're actually going to let this one sit for a while, and I think it's going to harden a little bit, and then we can decorate it and put all the little fancy stuff and candy on it, okay? Ooh. You ready to help me squeeze it? That's a cute little house. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna do good one. Obviously, didn't think anybody was watching. Okay, Corbin, what are we doing? Putting decorations on it. That's right, it's decoration put time. Decoration on it. Okay, so you put a little strip of right there. icing on the corner. Cool. Now what? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna put some icing right here and then put this on there. Cool. So it'll be like a big candy cane while people like walk past it. Cool. Tins is using some green icing. Yeah, because it came with my package. Cool. Ellie's working hard too, huh, baby? Good job. So we're first putting icing on it. Uh-oh, you got some on your fingers, huh? Try not to spill. I put it on. Ooh, good job, Gordon. Looking when good. When we're done, we probably get to eat them. We might, we might, uh, when you guys are better. Once you guys get better and you're not sick we anymore. We'll put them on a big plate and then, and then we'll burn. Yeah, we'll just have them for decoration for now. So here's mine. I just got started on mine. I'm starting to put a little decoration on mine. All right, well, mine is done. Check it out. Check it out. I think it turned out pretty good, I'd say. It's pretty too dang delicious looking. How's yours coming there, Corbin? Two mint stacks up on top here? Yeah. 
Here's James's house. He did really, really good, and then he's taking a break so that he can work on his train. How's that going, dude? I'm working on secret right now, and then I'm gonna do Santa on the other. It's side. gonna say secret Santa on it. That's cool. Oh, one fell down. I I might have to eat it. Put it back. You don't have to eat it. You can just put it back on. I'm gonna do Santa with the leaves and the red beads. That looks great, Ellie. You're doing so good. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Wow. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy. <laughs> That's so funny. When James was going down to the bottom. What did you do? I didn't do anything, it just fell down. Did the roof fall off of your house? Do you think maybe there was too much candy on it? <laughs> maybe we should take some of the candy back off. Because you got this candy piled high to the sky. Yeah, I think that's too much candy for one little roof. <laughs> I'm just doing great. That's my house. Yeah, your house looks good, and Ellie's done with hers now. I can't put this one So there's one Ellie's. <laughs> I cannot put this mint on. Yeah, that mint is the, the too heavy one right there. We got James's whole train is done. What do you think, dude? Good. Are you happy with it? This one, it has nothing on this side, but there's also stripes on the other side of this. That turned out pretty good. Ellie, how did yours turn out? All these. Do you love it? Yeah. Corbin, what about yours, dude? Tell me about yours. Right here, I was building it, and I put too much, and it fell off. Yeah. <laughs> that was So he like stuck tons of candy to put, cover the whole thing. So we, we added some more glue and put it back together. Overall, I think these turned out pretty good. We listened to Christmas songs and had a really good time. And I didn't make it through. I started feeling so sick. I was like... Okay, I have to give up on gingerbread houses. You guys can just so we just go finished crazy. it. <laughs> James is about to eat dinner, but his te his tooth. We've waited an entire day now, and it still is super wiggly, way more wiggly even. I said, "All right, I'm gonna go get the camera," and Charlie said, "Okay, you can." <laughs> time to pull out a tooth. <laughs> so even though it's super soft food, I think it's time I'm to. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, that's not a fork. But it probably works. I don't want really to brush my hair anymore. <laughs> Use your fork, not the hairbrush. Yeah, this is a hairbrush. Can I have it? I'm sure it has any flavor. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the flavor of hairspray. <laughs> oh, thank you, Charlie. Thank you for your permission. Thank you. I made chicken pot pie. <laughs> Did they Yeah, you did. Mm. Wow. Chicken. All right, can you film it, Ryan? Of course I can. Sure thing. James, follow the moving camera. <laughs> Are you ready? Let me see how... Uh... Hold on, it's not focused. It's not focused. Okay, are we ready for this? Officially this time? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Totally missed. Becca. Here we go. Maybe not. Becca, you don't have good enough. Look at this. It's so wobbly. Uh, Becca, you don't have enough toilet paper on it. You don't have enough toilet paper yet. Enough leverage, like I said last night. <laughs> it's so hard. You gotta get a string to it and pull. You need, need more leverage. So we need a or a string and a door and slam the door. That's the right way to do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm weak from my sickness. <laughs> Ellie, go, go <laughs> get your dinner. You Corbin, doing? go eat your dinner. It's just what I want to Try one more time. Nope. You don't have enough toilet paper. You need more leverage. Ryan, get me leverage. <laughs> This was actually quite funny a little bit, but also kind of gross. Somehow, a, a plate got tons of stuff all over it that it probably shouldn't have gotten on it. So I took this plate up to Jessica, and I said, Jessica, you forgot to eat your food! And it's really gross. And what did you say? 
said, that's a plate of garbage. Ryan, have you been cooking again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But I was gonna go scrape this in the garbage because Jessica didn't finish her food. Oh, that's really gross. <laughs> Plate. I know, who put it on the plate? It's Yuck. What is it? I came in my room. It's pitch black. Yeah. And look in the room. Oh! <gasps> oh! Been really bad actually. At least, at least this isn't too heavy. Yeah, I must have done something in the dark. He was supposed to be in bed, obviously, in here. And we, of course, we shut the door and everything. Even so, it lamp. helped him to calm down. He even brought his little lamp. I know, he was just like, My baby! <laughs> Do you want this baby? Yeah. It's there for a while. It's really warm right here. But if you've ever seen the movie Jurassic Good Park, night. he's learned to open Don't doors. Like <laughs> and he's learned to climb out of his cage. Well, his, his hey. cage. Not his cage, but his, <laughs> his little... What is it called? It's not a... It's yeah. not a cage. Crib. He's learned to get out of his crib. Yeah. Just like a velociraptor. His face like this. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> That was so funny, and it's warm right there, so he's there for a while, actually. I think that was just, uh, his diaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need uh, my right. phone charger. It's, my, it's gonna die. Uh, this blanket can implode and look like belly button holes. Then Becca said it's a whole belly button blanket. <laughs> like, a whole Audis, and then it makes that you feel so weird using it. You know what I'm saying? Belly button blanket. <gasps> Go to bed! <laughs> <laughs> 